Hi, and welcome to the Gringo Baker. Today, we're going to be doing something quite a bit different. Instead of making something, we're going to talk about the ingredients that go in the things we make. We're going to talk about flour. We're going to talk about sugar. We're going to talk about fat, leavening agents, salt and spices. We're going to talk about all kinds of things that go in your baking and why it's good to understand what they do. So let's start with flour. Flour is the foundation of most baked goods. It provides structure, gives us texture, from in everything from cakes to cookies. When we mix it with a liquid, gluten is formed and that's what gives dough its stretchy, elastic quality. That's good for bread, but we don't want it in cookies and cakes. That's why we use different kinds of flours, like all-purpose for most things, cake flour for cakes, bread flour for bread, and so on. And it's also why we don't want to overwork cakes and cookies, because they'll get tough. Okay, let's talk about sugar. We use granulated white sugar, we use brown sugar, we use confectioner's sugar, and there's a few other kinds that we don't commonly use in baking, but we might. Sugar helps sweeten stuff, as we know. It also helps with browning, moisture, and tenderness. Okay, let's talk about eggs. Eggs are the glue that holds things together. They also provide structure and stability while also helping to create the light, fluffy texture in cakes that we love. The yolks add moisture and richness, and the whites can be whipped to add air, especially in recipes that use meringue and in angel food cake. Now we're going to talk about fats like butter, oil, and shortening. Butter is a flavor powerhouse. Use that when you want to add a little extra flavor. Oil, when you don't want to add flavor like in a carrot cake, but you want the moisture and the richness of oil, and it helps make things tender. Shortening is used occasionally, but not with the frequency it used to be, uh, but it does the same thing. It's a difficult word for me to say, but leavening agents are really important in our baking because they cause our baked goods to rise. I've done a little experiment, and there are three bowls here. The one on the left is baking soda with water, and the one in the middle is baking soda with lemon juice. Baking soda requires an acid to work, and as you can see, it foams up the instant the acid hits it and releases CO2. And the third bowl on the right is baking powder, which has a built-in acid. All it needs is water, and you can see that worked, and it's foaming so our goods will rise. Salt, spices, and extracts do exactly what you think they do in a recipe. They enhance the flavor. And then finally, we have our liquids. It could be juice or water or milk. I really hope this video helped you understand baking a little bit better and the ingredients we use. If it did, please comment, like, and subscribe. See you next video.